magenta you do this is the donor of and smart art box so this is where I'm actually playing with the 2019 smart art smart art box um, that arrived the other day I cannot draw I cannot paint so this is going to be an experience I have managed to get myself a sketchbook not very big um, but I do have a sketchbook. I have looked at um, Smart Art actually has a what Smart Art box, what's in the box, and they'd show you the, the lady there is actually doing Peacock. So I am going to try and do the same thing. The process to do the Peacock. I hope you like the outcome. The first steps on this one is to outline a sheet of jewel art on a scratch piece of paper. Well, I used my, um, I had a sketchbook there. So I sketched the design. I worked, um, it's a lot of fun, challenges with this one, trying to get this picture right. But then I gave into the process and started actually enjoying just kind of scribbling and trying to match up similar to what I was seeing. So place the jeweler sheet back over the O-line and secure it with tape. So that was where I'd um, put, it, put the plastic, put the jeweler over the top of the, the image, taped it down and then started. So then the next steps on that one is paint your design using an assortment of glass art colours. Use the Mona Lisa paint thinner to rinse your brush between colours, not excess paint thinner on a paper towel or cloth. Then step three, when the painting is dry, add highlights, fine details using the white porcelain to glass painter. Sorry, the white porcelain and glass painter. To activate the marker, simply shake it and then pump it to fit, pump the tip a few times until paint starts to flow. Step four is using the black relief paste to outline a design, giving it the final touch to create a stained glass effect. Squeeze gently and use even pressure as you work. Always practice before starting your final piece. Step five. Let's wrap things up by filling in the background. Add some sparkle to your piece and finish up any outlines that are needed. Make sure to remove the tape when needed. And step six. Congratulations, your faux stained glass piece. Your faux stained glass painting piece is complete. Don't forget to complete the week, monthly week challenges to win peacock points. Hope this little peacock got me peacock points. Anyway, enjoy the music, enjoy the process, and uh, I will talk to you when this is all done.
I hope you enjoyed that process. Let me know what you think. The uh, this is fully dry, completely touch dry. Now this is actually the flat side. The side I painted on is that side. You can actually see the ra the raised bits there up here. I am working. I do have a light pad underneath here so that you can see what it looks like um, being glass, being you know you painting glass. I thought it better as if it was as if there's a window behind it. So which is why you're seeing it this way. But I'm happy with the process. I had a lot of fun. Surprisingly, um, when I got my head around the actual penciling in, the actual outlining in that. Uh, you know, you have your little icky bits going, oh, I don't know if it's right, but it doesn't matter if it's right or not. It's what you do and it's how you enjoy it. And I actually did enjoy this process. So, Gems, let me know what you think. And um, hopefully the next Smart Art Box will be slightly different. Well, it will be. But uh, hopefully it will give me as much time to sit back and relax as this did because I really enjoyed working on this one. So, on that note, Gems, thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share, all that jazz, and uh, bye for now.